Officers respond to calls involving children all the time. The City of Bethlehem Police Department is a 24-7 police department, so we respond on a daily basis. In Whitehall Township, I think it's a rare day that an officer doesn't respond to some form of a call where a child is not present. In the city of Allentown, we have a myriad of uh, calls for service. So you have anything from domestic violence calls to more very serious calls where it's robbery or homicide. The police often intervene in situations that are traumatic in nature, and while they do a good job, the family is left to deal with the aftermath of that, and especially the children. As we've learned about trauma over the past several years and, and what that means, we realize that students and, and adults are affected by trauma in their life. The traumatic events that we're talking about, by the way, aren't just crimes. They're auto accidents, they're anything. It affects the way a child approaches school. And when they come into school and they're acting differently, you know, the tradition has been a negative one on the child. When children experience trauma, they learn that the world and the adults around them aren't safe or predictable, and that has them kind of ready in that survival mode at any time, and that shows up in our schools. At the core community function of policing is, is taking care of the people. The youngest of our society, they're the people that need the protection the most. And as a community, we want to make sure that the, the children have that support. Resilient Lehigh Valley is a community-driven effort to promote hope, healing, and resilience in youth, families, and communities through building a trauma-informed Lehigh Valley. Handled with Care is a very simple communication between schools and police to better support students exposed to trauma. If an officer is responding to a call and there's a young person there, a kid, a child, the officer can make a referral. A Handle with Care referral is very, very simple for an officer to do. They'll respond to a call for service. When they notice that a child is present, they'll go to the Safe to Say site. They'll enter that child's name and the school that they attend. And that's it, it's that simple. It informs the district that a student has been exposed to a traumatic event and we don't know what that event was and that we need to handle this child with care. There are a lot of things a school can do to become a safe and supportive environment through trauma-informed practices. They can make sure their staff are all trained in recognizing the signs and symptoms of trauma. They can have calming corners or peace corners in every classroom. Supports could be as simple as giving that child something to eat, extended time on homework. It's really giving them the opportunity to feel good about themselves. Well, we really started to get a lot of community buy-in for this program by really just talking to community partners. So we engage our schools, our police leaders, our, our county leaders, even our district attorneys, and that's really how we piloted the Handle with Care program. Supporting our children leads to strong, resilient children that can deal with adversity, experience it, and know how to come out on top of it. This builds a trust level with the children. I think it builds a trust level with the law enforcement as well as with the teachers. It works wonders because the teachers are now informed. This is such an important initiative at United Way because it's all about supporting our kids. What are we as a society if we're not wrapping our arms around our kids and really helping them address any barriers in their way? Mm -hmm.